How come I think I'm going to get a Nobel Prize for economics for this one? Because let's think about this. Okay, so say that you go to a doctor. Is a doctor clean energy? Oh, yeah. So you could use your clean energy money for it. But then the doctor has all this clean energy money, and they're like, dude, I, all I have is clean energy money, and... Um, but when they do a procedure, uh, if I have to use certain things because it's manufactured, because they're manufactured, um, does is there also like some dirty energy money in there? Maybe for certain procedures, it, there, it does require um, both currencies. But more than anything, a doctor is a service. So you get, so you go to the doctor, you give them clean energy money. The doctor says, I want a good exchange rate because I deserve it because I'm a doctor. And we say, we agree with you. You get a better exchange rate than the prostitute. Because the prostitute, she gets clean energy money as her service, or he. Um, I, should, I feel like it was wrong to leave out men, because there are a lot of male prostitutes out there. Um, so, um, so they get clean energy money, but they don't have the same exchange rate as a doctor. Does a lawyer get the same exchange rate as a doctor? Do you think a lawyer gets the same exchange rate as a doctor for me? No. But does a lawyer maybe get a better exchange rate than a prostitute? Probably. Um, but when you go buy a hat, say you want to go buy a funny hat, um, because you think funny hats are the best, can you get a ex good exchange rate on that? Um, actually, you're going to have to use dirty money for that because that's manufactured. Say you buy this thing, and but it's a new invention. So you buy a microphone, and it's a new microphone invention. Um, uh, can it be a, a little bit of both? Because say, say it's like high technology, but it's manufactured. So like the carbon emissions required to manufacture it are actually relatively low. So even though it's like, say, because it's so expensive. So if it's a high dollar thing that you're buying, um, will it be both? Both clean and dirty energy uh, money. So there are two different types of money and some things cost both. Some things cost only. Say that you go buy a house. Is that going to be cleaner energy, cleaner, dirty, dirty energy? This is a fun game. It's going to be dirty energy money. Um, so, um, like, I feel like a lot of the United States is going to be dependent on the dirty energy money, but for people that are over here, it's going to be less. But um, it will also allow us to do this universal living wage thing. Because do I want to put people out of work? Do I want to replace people with computers as much as possible? Do I want them to stop driving a million miles to go to work to do absolutely nothing. Yeah, how can I do that? Well, I, we might have to have a universal living wage that is paid in clean energy money that won't allow you to buy hats. But if you buy, say that you buy from a from a gently used store, you go to the brown elephant in Chicago because it's your favorite um, thrift store in the world and you go buy this hat. Is this hat going to be paid for with clean energy money or dirty energy money? Clean energy money. Why? Because it's already been, the, because the it was initially paid for, all, like say I buy a brand new shirt, it's going to be paid for with dirty energy money. But when it's when you're buying it from a, 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 a used store, then um, it's going to, you can pay clean energy money for it. And, um, but I, I, do, do I think this is, this makes the economics a little more complicated because we're going to have like it's like you're you're talking about different exchange rates for different professions because the prostitutes clean energy money doesn't um, get exchanged for the same price as the doctors and that's that's the real issue I agree with you it's it's an issue um, it is an issue trying to give two different exchange rates or like maybe three different exchange rates based on the class of your job you, you we classify your job and but um, the problem is, like, say, say that people are getting paid low wages in, in the clean energy department, like you're a maid or something. Um, should they actually have the same exchange rate as the doctor? Probably, but I don't want the lawyer. It's like, it's my bias going into the economics, and that's when people like Perry Merling might get mad at me and go, hey, you're, you're trying to mess with the invisible hand too much. You're already messed with it by having two different types of currency. Um, how, how in the world are you going to pull this off? And that's why I have economic advisors to help me. Um, because we're inventing a new economy that I just invented that I'm going to get a Nobel Prize for, bitches, if, unless I only have one viewer. But hopefully YouTube, YouTube, submit my idea for a Nobel Prize because I swear to God, I think I deserve it. I'm going to be the only Nobel Prize in economics winner of all time that can't get a job teaching economics even in high school because I don't know anything about it. I do know things about economics. I used to read the Wall Street Journal like every day for a long time, and I did take economics in high school. I never took it in college, though. 
all right so um and i do have i do have theories of of the economy and i i am um friends with the monster who helps me with economic ideas so yeah do you, does anybody else think i deserve a nobel prize for economics for this idea and let, someone's gonna be like well actually hans Kordal invented this idea in 1983 no he didn't maybe he did i hope no one invented it yet i hope i'm original I'm the, I'm the one that popularized it if I didn't invent it. Let's do it. I think it's a brilliant idea.